developing story and a big decision just in involving David Beckham's Major League Soccer team in South Florida. He wants the team to play at least a few years on the side of Lockhart Stadium in Fort Lauderdale, but a competing developer wants to build something there as well. CBS Force Kerry Codd is live in Fort Lauderdale with the developing details. Kerry. That's right. Just before 5:30 tonight, my uh, Fort Lauderdale City Commissioners rather decided to move forward with the Beckham's, Beckham Group's proposal at Lockhart Stadium. Commissioners decided that the Beckham Group had the private financing and the ability to put this deal together in about a year to get soccer invested at that stadium in about a year, a brand new stadium that they want to build. And ultimately today, the commissioners will formalize that decision at their commission meeting, which is about to get underway here at the city. But before their decision, right around 5.30, the commissioners spent several hours hearing from both groups. Let's hear from FXE football first. At Fort Lauderdale City Hall Tuesday, soccer dominated the conversation. It was the subject of some slick promotional videos as city commissioners weighed whether to move forward with the proposal from David Beckham's soccer group or go with a rival group, FXE Football. Both groups want to put pro soccer at Lockhart Stadium. It's an unbeatable combination. This is not a hard choice. Intense support for the Beckham group came from former Fort Lauderdale striker soccer player Ray Hudson. This is, like I say, the Royal Flush. We will never have another opportunity in this city to get a, a, a man of that outreach and um, impact that David, David Beckham has, and we will be back on the map. The Beckham group plans to rebuild Lockhart, which is overgrown and dilapidated, and play Major League Soccer there for two years before moving to Miami. The group says they want to have a permanent training facility there, corporate offices, a lower level pro team, and lots of public fields. They're privately funded. You know, it's always been our aspiration through Inter Miami that the eyes of the world see the potential of our community and our city. So, you know, we've put our best foot forward with, uh, with our proposal here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, I'm very confident. FXE Football says they would bring a pro USL championship team to Lockhart. They say they would renovate the stadium and bring retail, top golf, and lots of public fields and amenities. Their managing director says the Beckham name could derail their plans. We seriously feel that you know, we've been working on this project for two years, and until Beckham arrived at the last minute, uh, uh, things were, you know, working smoothly. But you know, obviously, he has star power, and that uh, got people here to rush things unnecessarily. And ultimately, the commissioners did decide to proceed with the Beckham Group. Now, there is some controversy about this tonight. Miami Commissioner Joe Martinez is weighing in on this uh, development with Fort Lauderdale. Martinez said in a letter, letter to commissioners, so we gave up land owned by the citizens of Miami and absorbed the traffic and increased calls for police and fire, but Fort Lauderdale will enjoy the benefits of a soccer training facility in their backyard. Wow, Commissioner Martinez wrote. That's a great deal for Broward County. How many of our children in underprivileged youth will be able to travel to Fort Lauderdale? What happened to the team's commitment to serve our local residents and soccer youth teams? I did ask Jorge Moss about that today. He told me they also plan to have a training academy in Miami. He said he believes it's important for the team to reach out not only to Miami-Dade and Broward, but also to Palm Beach. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.